In the first episode, we talked about some of the foundational principles that should guide our walk with Yeshua. And one of those main foundation points was that God desires a relationship with us. Now we can't quite have a relationship without communication, and prayer is just that. David was known as a man after God's heart. He ran after God in his life with constant prayer and worship, and it was personal. Read through the Psalms and you'll see he was honest about the ups and downs and poured out his heart to God in each moment. The Psalms aren't just songs David wrote, but prayers to God, and many can give us great insight into what a healthy prayer life looks like. Think through the scriptures about the patriarchs' prayer lives. Elijah prayed and fire fell down. Moses would just sit in fellowship with God, receiving instruction and connecting as a friend. Exodus 33 describes this. So Adonai spoke with Moses face to face as a man speaks with his friend. Again, the key point, God spoke with Moses as a friend. That's the desire he has for you too. But you might be thinking that those relationships are only for a select few, like Moses and Daniel, and that God doesn't really care to hear my voice and the issues I'm dealing with. Don't be fooled by the typical attitude in the world today. This relationship is not just for the great ones, but for all who call on his name. Before Yeshua came, this close relationship was rare. There were some select holy people who had that connection nobody else could get. But Yeshua opened the way for us. In him, we can talk to the Father, we can have prayers answered, and in his name do amazing wonders even greater than the prophets of old. In the New Testament, the book of Hebrews also addresses this concept as it explains how Yeshua became our high priest and made the way for us to connect with God. Let's go back to David again for some deeper insight on prayer. In one of his Psalms, David said, May my prayer be set before you like incense. David was connecting this with part of the service of the tabernacle. His house was always designed to be filled with this fragrance. God loves to hear your prayers. And just like we love to smell a nice fragrance or light a candle to freshen up a room, our prayers according to God are collected for his delight and enjoyment. In Revelation, the prayers of Yeshua's followers are described as bowls of incense going up before him like a pleasing aroma to God. This picture also shows how God treasures our relationship. These aren't words that fall to the ground, but words that are heard and valued by God. But in the same line, there's some fragrances that we love and others that we can't stand to smell. There are certain prayer behaviors and heart motivations that really stink. Just like for us, when we're looking for love, sometimes people can put on a show or say things they don't mean. It kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth. The same can be said of our prayer life to God. What would it look like if you applied the same typical attitude many have towards prayer to your relationship with your wife? <laughs> it might look something like this. watching that. Girl, we need to talk. Okay. Baby, I know I wasn't giving you the attention you deserve lately. Wow, you really mean it? I do. From now on, I want to always share my heart with you. You have no idea how happy I am to hear that. I really miss the conversations we used to have when we first started dating. Sure. So, here's what's on my heart. Ready? Yes! I want you to clean my house, cook more meals for me, learn the rules of football, because I'm tired. Wait, what? I thought you were going to share your heart with me. Yeah, girl. That's what's on my heart. No, I wanted you to share how you feel about me. How I feel about you? Yeah. Why do you want to be with me? Why you find me special? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you stay right there, okay? Okay. Romantic things all girls like to hear. I found 10,000 cheesy pickup lines. 
Girl, your hair is like a flock of goats. You're just reading that from your phone. I am a person. You do not read lines to me from an internet quote. This is not speaking from your heart. What to do when you read dope romantic lines to your girl and she says she's a person and you're not speaking from your heart? Hey buddy, you're on your own this time. I think one principle that you can use that's really practical is, if it's not good enough for you, then why would you offer it to God? Nobody would put up with such a self-centered and one-sided relationship. Why would we think that God would want the same? Yeshua lays down some key points here in Matthew chapter 6. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Amen, I tell you, they have their reward in full. But you, when you pray, go into your inner room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret shall reward you. And when you are praying, do not babble on and on like the pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. First, be humble in your prayers. The purpose of prayer isn't to show how religious you are. The intention should be connecting with God. We see the example of Daniel and others. They had a consistent relational prayer with God. Daniel went home and not out into the streets to be seen by everyone. Prayer is the means by which we get to know God. And authentic prayer involves all of our heart and mind. So where do I start? In the Siddur, I have the list of prayers to pray. If there's a problem, there's a prayer for that. But as we were mentioning earlier, our goal is to connect in a deeper relational prayer with God. So what do we do? Yeshua gave us an outline of how to pray. That's a big difference than just reading a Siddur. The Siddur is a beautiful book with over 50% of the book directly quoting scripture. While this can be a catalyst to prayer and praise, God's intent is that we are personal in our prayers to Him. When you read the prayers of David in the Psalms, you see very clearly that these prayers are a real cry from David's heart to God. It is good to pray through the Word of God, but the main focus of our prayer should be communication from our heart to God. The rabbis in the past have said, this is what you should pray, line by line. But Yeshua instead gave us an outline, a structure for our conversation with God. Note what Yeshua says. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, honored be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. 